beautiful view in the morning. Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here on the island of Yongyu, next to the capital of South Korea, Seoul. And it's super interesting actually, because where we are right now is actually reclaimed land from the sea. So there were two islands off the coast of Seoul. There was the island of Yongyu and the island of Yongjong. And what they did is absolutely crazy. They actually filled in the land between the two islands and that's where they put the international airport for Seoul. So there's like some hills over here, some hills over here. Those are the original islands, but where we are right now, this is completely reclaimed land. I think it's really impressive as well because they're using their space on the roof to create gardens and to plant trees. It's super crazy when you look around here that on every rooftop, it looks like a park. So already one guy on a rooftop walking his dog, you know? <laughs> It's time to hit the road and start exploring South Korea. So let me show you guys the route for today. So here is our brand new map of South Korea. And we are here in Yongjongdo, just off the mainland. And today our plan is to take the ferry across to the mainland and then head through Incheon City and into Seoul to see how far we can get. Our first mission is to take a ferry to get off this island because there's two bridges off the island, but both of these bridges are highway bridges and motorcycles are not allowed on highways anywhere in Korea. So our first mission will be to find that ferry and get onto the South Korean mainland. Yes, it's already 11 o'clock and we still have to pick up Bumblebee. So better hit the road, let's go. Should we just stay another night or maybe three other nights? <laughs> it's a nice room, hey? It's a nice, nice room. More than nice, more than nice. <sighs> Very good, lobby boy. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. Ready to go? Ready! Alright, so we actually have a first first mission for today. Before our ferry mission to get off this island, we have to head over to DHL Express because we have to send our drones again. I don't know if I need to go left or right. This hasn't even moved since I started. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna go this way and see what happens. It looks like it doesn't refresh where you are. Oh, it did. It did? Just now it did, yeah. Oh, cool. It was just now telling me that I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, now we're on track. So yes, we have to send our drones for the second time because next week we are about to take a ferry into Vladivostok in Russia. So we have a contact in Russia called Yuri and he's our customs agent. And so we asked him the question. We just said, hey, is it better if we just don't bring drones into the country? And he kind of said, yeah, that's definitely a good idea. I would not advise you bringing 
a drone into the country because we're going into Russia into Vladivostok going back out of Russia into Mongolia but then going back into Russia again between Mongolia and Kazakhstan there's a small Russian section for a couple of days it basically means that our only option is to send the drones all the way to Kazakhstan there's supposed to be a DHL service point inside this convenience store here GS25 so let's see if that works 12 seconds later okay that was quick I just translated to him is it possible to send a package with DHL and he said no so I have no idea I mean they're listed on Google Maps as a DHL Express service point but apparently that's not true So we survived our first fill up in South Korea, but what didn't survive the Pacific crossing was our camera audio setup. No, it's not. And Lavi's camera was having a whole mind of its own. But I'm here to save the video with a voiceover. After a few morning setbacks, we eventually managed to find the ferry to the mainland. And who doesn't love a good ferry ride? KTM. Oh, cool. Uh, 890. Okay, okay, my 890 adventure. Yeah, yeah very nice. Young book number two. Chicken, the top, the John Sagan Togo in the Chicago, Chicken, Guatemala, Korea. Yeah. Mexico, 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 I think it's like sea cucumbers or something like that, but yeah, they're moving around. Wow. So I just bought the tickets, these ones here. And it's really crazy because I paid 9,000 won and it's about five pounds. It's crazy cheap for like a ferry ride, you know, it's like a whole experience. I like it. But yeah, super beautiful here. Just really crazy, like what you can buy here and eat, like all the things from the ocean, like this cucumbers and oysters and I don't know.
bridge because this is so much cooler than taking a bridge. Well, that was super fast. Everybody else has already left. <laughs> the boat, we're the last ones. This guy's on a giant bike wearing flip-flops. Your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy bike. Look at that. Wow. Here we go, FedEx. Please, 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 please ship to Kazakhstan. So we found out that apparently the cheapest option to uh, send our drone is to create our own box. Now you can see here that I'm just cutting up a box here. The FedEx lady, she gave me a, a small box and now we measured it and tried to make it as small as possible that the drones aren't that expensive to ship. We are at the moment, um, I think it's like 120 pounds, but every time you like added extra few centimeters to the box size on the quote, it was like going up by 30 or 40 pounds. So if we make this box as small as humanly possible, then that'll be as cheap as it can be. 120 pounds, eh? You're a really good box maker. <laughs> Look at that. It will be our Christmas present. <laughs> in Almaty. <laughs> so we just measured the size and weight and it's not small enough or light enough to be within our price range. If you're over 16 centimeters uh, wide, it basically ups the price by like 40 pounds. And then if you're over one kilo by even 0.1, it ups the price by 40 pounds. So we need to be within 30 centimeters by 15 by 10 and no more than one kilo. Otherwise, we basically have to pay an extra third on top of the price. One hour later. Yes. Cool, finally, we managed to get this package sent. We got the box the right size. We didn't have the name of our contact in Almaty, so then we had to message them and get that contact. And then we didn't have a phone number in Korea, so we had to message another friend here to get a phone number. So it was quite a challenge to get this done, but it's done. <laughs> So after successfully sending our drones to Kazakhstan, we made our way further into the city of Seoul towards our hotel room for the night. Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive and absolutely exhausted. Maybe we have still a little bit of a jet lag or something going on here, but I'm so super tired. But we have a really cool room here, check that out. First of all, never seen, but here is a computer, like a proper computer. We turn it on, it's working, <laughs> the work can start. <laughs> then we have a kettle, we have a hairdryer, we have a fridge, a phone. And then here's a crazy section as well with uh, a brush and like hairspray and stuff like this. I mean, seriously? <laughs> the uh, rooms here in Korea seem really, really well equipped. And it's got some mood lighting as well, which is actually really nice. Look, 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 this one, no, ah. No, the window's open, okay. And a really big bathtub as well. Yeah, so this room should be pretty good for us, I reckon, for tonight. And then tomorrow we can really start exploring South Korea. Yeah, we haven't gotten really far today. Maybe, I don't know, 30 kilometers or 40 kilometers, like. Yeah, we're barely off the ferry, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow morning we can go to this awesome palace and then we can start making our way out of Seoul and into the South Korean countryside. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us 
the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.